Um, Mr. Narian, um, just a question which I know my readers are universally ask, wanting me to ask you. How can Adobe possibly justify charging up to $1,400 more for the exact same software delivered in Australia, um, delivered over the internet with no box copy compared to US prices? Again, and I'll, I'll answer this question. When we look at the creative cloud and where the future of the creative cloud is, we're not talking about is we're talking the about future traditional of, software, you know, not where the we're credit credit. With, with the company, and we think that's the best offering for customers. We really believe that that you know, if you look at what we've done with pricing there, uh, it's actually a great value uh, to our customers, and we think that's the future of the company. And I, I think it's a very attractive opportunity but, right now but, in terms of pricing. But there's a lot of there's a lot of to be honest. I mean, there's a lot of companies. A lot of individuals who don't want to buy a creative cloud, they want to buy a creative suite. And I mean, the creative suite master collection is $1,400 more in Australia, but how can you possibly justify that when it's delivered over the internet? Again, the creative cloud, just uh, I think it's important to remember that the creative cloud is not just for individuals. We recently announced a creative cloud for teams. We think that the collaboration features that you have with creative cloud for teams is the better opportunity even for teams. And for enterprises, when you think of the combination of what we're doing with the creative cloud and the marketing cloud, I think the message I'm trying to send all of you is that the creative cloud is the future of creative. And you know, when you look at the value that customers, whether they be individuals all the way to large enterprises, are getting through the creative cloud, we just think that that's phenomenal value for our customers. But what about the customers who want to buy traditional versions of Creative Suite, which, I, which is still the majority of Adobe's business? I, mean, I know you're talking a lot about the creative cloud being the future, but... If that's the case, why not cut the prices of? Why not harmonise the prices of your of your traditional software if you if the creative cloud is the future? When Adobe thinks about how we want to make sure we attract the next generation, again, I, 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 the future of the creative is the creative cloud. I'm sorry, sir. You're really not answering the question. Like I, I don't really have any any other way to put it. And I, again, all I can say is when we think about the future of what's the best offer for customers and we think about the creative cloud, we think we have a great offering and a great price for customers and the value that it's there. So as much as we appreciate the questions, I think this, this opportunity of Chantadu being here um, is a chance to you know, also really talk about you know, the opening of the, this new office um, and a lot of other things that are happening um, at Adobe as well. So do we have you know, any other questions that are um, important to you around that? Can you rule out... Uh, cutting your prices for other non-creative cloud products? Uh, I'm not sure. So, so at the moment you're saying that you're hurting your customers towards creative cloud, and that's the future of the direction. We've got that message. But in terms of your other products, are you going to cut them in Australia? You know, we're always looking at pricing around the world. And again, I think... Uh, the meeting today is really all about sharing where we're headed as a company with the creative cloud and the marketing cloud. I think you're constantly looking at what's the way, best way to deliver value to our customers. I think the success that we're seeing in the Australia market, I think, is representative of two things. First is when you think about what's happening with the digital economy here, uh, Australia is actually one of the leaders in terms of the amount of marketing spend that's going digital and understanding that the return of investment on that marketing spend is relevant. When you look at our solutions in that space, we think we have the leading solutions in that space and the return of investment on that uh, for enterprise customers is really obvious. Uh, and so, you know, I, I think the way we look at it holistically, we look at, uh, you know, making sure that we're driving great value to companies as they're moving online and have the local team continue to work with customers to make sure that the value is... Uh, Evident to our customers. Great. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate uh, your coming again.